how to configure the OSPF on ASA. In this scenario, we can take into this one router and one ASA firewall. First, we configure into this uh, OSPF in R1 router. First, go to this R1, enable, enable configuration terminal interface FA 0 slash 0 IP address 10.1.1.1. 255.255.255.0 no shut next interface loopback 0 loopback 0 IP address 1.1.1.1 now configure the OSPF in R1 router next interface FA 0 slash 0 next IP OSPF OSPF authentication is message digest next IP OSPF IP OSPF message digest key is 1 D5 OS P of triple seven. Okay, now OSP of one router OSP of one router ID one dot one dot one dot one and then network. They have two networks, one is one dot network and second one is a ten dot network. Okay, so I can use into this 0, 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 and 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 and then my area is 0 this is my area 0 okay next default information originate always yes exit yes first R1 is configured next go to this ASA firewall enable next configuration terminal configuration terminal int e 0 slash 1 IP address 10.1.1.7 255.255.255.0 no shut the name if outside by default outside is 0 now configure the OSPF router OSPF 1 router ID 7.7.7.7 next network they have only one network this is 10.1.1.0 network ok network is 10.1.1.7 255.255.255.0 next my area is 0 go to this interface e 0 slash 1 just OSPF OSPO authentication is authentication is message digest and null we can use the message digest ok OSP of message digest OSP of message digest key is 1 means it is this is 1 is a uh, angest key ID and then authentication type is MD5 and then ID number name is ID name is OSPF triple seven. Previous we configured into the same ID in R1 router. Yes. Next exit. Control Z. Next first we check into this configuration is perfect or not. show OSPF 1 
yes it's perfect configured see the routing protocol is OSPF1 with ID is 7.7.7 .7 .7. it's ID ASA ID this one and then domain ID is 0.0.0.1 .0 and then number of interfaces in this area is 1 then we configure only one area the area is 0 for suppose we configure into this uh, 10 areas it can shows into this 10 areas information areas has no authentication so OSP of 1 interface outside see the outside is up line protocol is also up the designated router ID is 7.7.7.7 .7 .7. this is the designated router ID and then backup designated router ID is 1.1.1 .1 means it is this 1.1.1 .1 is the R1's loopback ID this one interface address is 10.1.1.1 .1 via this is the interface address same hello in, hello interval is at 10 seconds dead interval is also 40 seconds so wait is 40 seconds this one this one angest key ID is 1 okay and check into this neighbors show OSP of neighbor they have only one neighbor that is a 1.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 .1 means it is the R1 the priority value is 1 the dead time is 37 seconds and interface is outside yes so IP protocols see routing protocol is is OSPF1 and then gateway is 1.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 .1. this one 1.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 .1. and then maximum number of paths is 4 the router ID is 1.1.1 .1 .1. means it is the this R1's router ID is loopback ID yes next show IP OSPF neighbors show IP OSPF neighbor they have only one neighbor that is the ASA see neighbor ID is 7.7.7 .7 .7. this is the ASA ID and then priority value is 1 that is the full DR yes once we check into this um, show IP OSPF interfaces show IP OSPF interfaces see the inter internet address is 1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 and then area is 0 designated router ID is 7.7.7 .7 interface address is 10.1.1.17 .1 .1 see the designated router ID is 7 ok youngest key ID is 1 now we ping into this um, ASA to R1's loopback ping 1.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 the spin rate is successful. Thank you for watching.